Hey guys, um, we are just off to my parents' house in Mandurah. Um, we've just finished recording a uh, challenge video. We decided to do the baby food challenge, uh, which was an experience. That it was, was gross. disgusting. Most of them weren't too bad, but the two with parsnip in it were vile. Yeah, my mouth still tastes disgusting, which sucks. Okay, so that one was actually a sweet potato. <gasps> yes! Best break ever! I literally told you that that looked like a suspicious sweet potato colour. We distrusted Beth way too much. Sweet potato, carrot and apple. And when I was buying that one, I said on camera, Jenna hates sweet potato and then threw it in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jen's disgust. Lucky I only got one uh, sweet potato. <laughs> She says I that now. I literally said that as soon as I saw that. We definitely forgot. We definitely forgot that uh, we were meant to be doing that tonight. I saw my parents yesterday and they told me, normally they messaged me and I, as soon as I received the message, I add it into my calendar. Um, but yeah, yesterday, because I just saw them in person, I completely spaced on adding it to my calendar and didn't see it in my events for today. Uh, I'm kind of the worst son. <laughs> anyway, um, it's about a 45 minute drive down to Mandra. Uh, and I just finished waxing my eyebrows, which I'm really glad about because now I've got like bright red brows for dinner. So that's great. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. Our day's been relatively chilled out. Uh, we did the video. Jen filmed some planning with me and I've just been sitting on the computer editing for like the whole day. I want to get some designing done too but at the moment we're both using the Mac for editing and designing. Um, we both have laptops but neither of them work particularly well for editing or designing so that's a bit irritating but that's okay. Yeah, um, I am thinking about upgrading my laptop so that I can um, edit on the go because I've got such a long commute to get to uni, um, it would be beneficial if I could sort of use that almost two hour block to get some editing done. Um, it's a bit easier to you do it on on the train anyway, because you don't need the internet access for what I do with editing and stuff. Um, pretty much everything's backed up onto my computer already. Um, we have started up Snapchat as well, so I will add our Snapchat logo here. Yeah, there. That's it. That's going to be the spot for that. Uh, so, add us. Add us on Snapchat. We're both going to be running it. Um, so you can get bits and pieces of our day. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Try and find us on any other social media. We have a Twitter and an Instagram as well. Sad. I'm gonna say saying goodbye to my puppy. Um, so Do you want to relive that? Last year we lost um, my dog Arlen. Uh, he's an Alaska Mountain. I had him for about six years, and um, getting to say goodbye to him was one of the most absolutely heart-crushing moments of my life. Um, but I was just in like such a state of shock that I actually like I couldn't think of anything. I like could only consult him, and I. I know that he's a dog and like he can't talk or anything but I just like I wish that I could have been a little bit more together for him but I think he really did like he held on to the last day that he possibly could for us um, and I just I miss him so much and he is just like such a massive massive part of the last six years of my life and yeah I love the guy so I think getting to say goodbye to him again would be nice. It was random. Um, what was one New Year's resolution that you accomplished? Ooh, I didn't. My New Year's resolution for last year um, was to lose weight. 
which is my New Year's resolution this year. Um, so I didn't really come up with resolutions last year. Like no. we've been wanting to lose weight for the last year. Yeah. But we didn't really say okay this year. It's like our resolution. We didn't really do it last year, but this year I think for sure both of us is um, to do that. And then my only other one to add to it would be um, I'd like to grow my edge to shop so that I can um, support myself or even just cut down the amount of time I'm doing work. Um, so I can work more from home. So that's my my main goal. And I want to have um, so one challenge video up a week, and as well as the daily vlogs. And then I'm also doing Jen's. I'm doing all the editing for Jen's channel uh, of her Etsy vlogs. So that's my New Year's resolution: is to daily vlog every day. Question three: Three words to describe last year. Um, definitely um, broke. New job. Etsy store. So, your three words would be broke the job Etsy. Yeah. Mine would be uni, unemployment, and challenges. Hey, question four. Best music related creation or inspiration last year by an artist in your opinion? Cam Coke's album. Um, Good choice. Yeah. Um, I got massively behind it. I mean, I have been a George Mac fan for a long time. Uh, she is just absolutely rad. Um, I'm envious of Kelly because she's dating Ben David from the Heartaches. And yeah, Tom Tom is rad. I got her on Instagram and just follow everything that she does, which is cool. I'm trying to think what mine would be. I listen to Smith Street the most. Yeah. So maybe that um, song, what? <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, so that song is about our previous Prime Minister, Tony Abbott. Um, the album artwork is incredible. So. Yeah, I'm actually going to throw a slide of that up now because it's incredible. Here it is. Okay, um, next. So, um, question five is something you're looking forward to this coming year? Um, I'm keen to get back to uni. Um, so I go back to uni. I'm a massive, massive nerd. I go back to uni on the 22nd of February, roughly. Um, but this year I signed on to be part of a volunteer committee for student paramedics. Um, for you, those of you guys who don't know, I am uh, studying paramedicine at university, um, and I'm just yeah keen to get back to uni. Uh, it just keeps my mind a little bit more active and. Yeah, I love the people who I study with. Like, I've got my nice little like university family, about as far away from home as I can think of. Right here. Um, first thing this year will be financial independence with my Etsy shop. So I think that's what I'm most looking forward to if that happens. Otherwise, probably sex baby. Oh yeah. One of my good friends is having a baby, and I'm super excited. Um, so that's gonna be in the next couple of months. So probably a time between those two. Question five. Question six. Hi. Ah, did you? There we go. Six. Um. What did last year teach you? Oh. I'm gonna go first. Go for it. Um. Last year taught me that we can be perfectly happy and get on with literally no money. We have been the brokest we've ever been with Jason studying and me being between jobs for two months. Um. But it hasn't changed us. Like we didn't get mad at each other or anything. Like we just stayed in a lot more and sort of had to plan our money a bit better. But um, yeah, like we've been fine. So that was good to see. But um, yeah, that's probably mine. Like. Yeah, um, mine's fairly same. Um, I would say budgeting. Um, we learned how to budget hard last year. So question seven. Um, did you finish? Yeah, budgeting was right. my number six. What was your most worn item? Clothing item of last year. Probably my Menzinger shirt. That or that red shirt. Nah, because I only got that at the end of the year. Yeah, probably Menzinger. So it's either going to be Menzinger's, my Transformers t-shirt, which I think I have since thrown out because I realised that I've owned it for like seven years. Um, or... Yeah. Uh, that jumper you wear. Okay. This jumper that I'm currently wearing, we got well <laughs> on our honeymoon in Melbourne. And yeah, I probably literally wore this every single day. Yeah. So 
So I would say this blue jumper that I'm currently wearing uh, would have been my most worn item of last year. And there are so many clothes that I just constantly wear. <laughs> um, I don't really have like an item of clothes that I wear often. It'd probably be like a pair of shoes. I wear those every day. Like hey, shoe shopping, so I only own about five pairs of shoes. Or black milk. You can't just generalize black milk. But it would be like that one pair of leggings that I always wear, which is like my watch. You could say your watch, because you've replaced your watch three times now. Clothing. That's right. my just Snow White black milk I wear these. Yeah. Or the t-shirt that goes with the black of leggings. That, that little that, black shirt. That ASOS t-shirt. Yeah. All right, yeah, I'd agree with that. Um, if you had to sum up your year in one word, what would it be? It can't be the same word you've already used, but you get three words. Okay. Um, I'm going to have challenging. That was your word, not mine. I know. I was trying to think of like challenging, but the positive version. Like, no, 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 like... Inspirational. No, like, when you have, like, an experience where it, like, excels you. It tests you. Yeah. Um, determination. Um, my word is going to be... Um... Growth. Nice. Solid. Um... Failed. Question nine. What were uh, sorry. What are you hoping for more of this coming year? Uh my Etsy sales. Etsy sales. Buy my stuff. <laughs> Links here. I'm just joking to put a link in the description. There, there will be a link in the description because yeah, it's much easier to do it that way than doing cards. Um now I forgot what mine was gonna be. Um what do you want more of this year? Oh, um, I want to be way more social than we were last year. Like, yes, we were super, super, super ridiculously broke. Um, but we went pretty much the whole year without seeing our people, without seeing our friends, without going out true. and catching up. Like, we were working a lot. I feel like I was quite social. Yeah. Um, so I want to make like a real conscious effort to see our friends more often. Um, probably make it like a fortnightly catch up with some friends um yeah just because i haven't been social all pretty much all the last year other than going to uni which is like quite a social outing i suppose um but yeah i mean i went 10 months without seeing john and 12 months without seeing james i've seen mikey twice in the last like three months that's just like a couple of friends on the top of my head um, so I want to make yeah, a real, real effort to see them more often. What are you hoping for less of this coming here? Um, bills. Nice. Yeah. I think mine would be stress. Stress? Yeah. Cool. Best book you read last year, mine's Buffering Hannah Hart's book. Damn it. Mm -hmm. Um, anything by Terry Pratchett. Just anything. Um, yeah, I read it on the train on the way to uni and fell in love. Um, what is your New Year's resolution for the upcoming year? Fitness and daily vlogs. We already discussed that. Yeah, we already went into it. Money and fitness. Cool. So that's everything. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching our New Year tag. And yeah, we'll see you soon. We pretty much made it halfway to Jenny Friends house. So. Yeah, roughly. It was a good talk, though. We might even do another one. <laughs> <laughs> um, let us know if, if there is any other tags that you want us to do, or uh, we might be throwing up a Q&A on our Facebook or Twitter, um, which, yeah, we're going to try and find some time to fill. So if you've got any questions for us, uh, leave them in the comments below, and I will put them into the next video. All right, see you guys. Bye.